What advice would you give to a, a young a young person who wants to make league football? Well, probably the same advice that I'd give anyone who's contemplating uh, any sport at all uh, that is competitive and professional uh, is that you, you're only going to get out of uh, that particular sport what you put in. Uh, there's a lot of cliches that are old and new and well used, but uh, it's just a matter of hard work and the more you put in, the more you'll get out of the game. Uh, so really, uh, to anyone who's aspiring to be a league player, uh, work as hard as you can, do whatever the, the coach instructs you, whether you think it's right or wrong. Uh, in the coach's mind, it's right for you and the team, so do it to the best of your ability and don't do anything half-hearted. Russell Johnson in front, but it was McKechnie who knocked the ball out. Russell Eagle to the tackle, a good one, holding the ball, that will be against Heinrich. Left foot kick, that's his ninth, he's played well, Evans didn't take the mark, back to Russell Ebert, he's got possession now, goes very short, Wayne Russell. Now what about Russell Ebert, very useful around those forward lines, and uh, never wastes a kick or a handball. Clifford, Leonard over the top, Kennedy, Bradley looking for the three, Russell Ebert 45 metres out, goes in with a long one, Evans, great mark! Fell over, hooked it back. Oh, Stephen Knight's got it now over the top. Ebert, this is definitely a goal. He won't miss. Craig Ebert's in there now, out towards Anderson. He's going to have to get a good sit on this one. In goes Saul's way out. He went. Knight gives Ebert a chance. Ebert back to Jennifer. Left leg goes for goal. Going to be close. Goal. Beautifully done, Russell Ebert. The master and the Tyro. McDermott has to go with him. The Bayes rucks are in total disarray. They just don't know what to do at all at the moment. Ebert, Gibbs, Ebert couldn't mark the ball out, goes Duthie, leaves it behind. Russell Ebert tries for his third goal, shoots it over the top. Wayne Russell will kick his second, and that's how easy it is. Got it back to Kinnear, in towards the half forward line, Ebert. Kick number nine, 35 metres out. Little breeze now. Ebert really runs around Riddlesey, fires in the goal, still a lot of football left in those legs. He's going to give it to Russell, he can bet on that. Flips it over now, Bradley back tonight in the 1-2, the Magpies go forward towards Russell Ebert, he's got it. Out to Craig Ebert, here's a chance now for Russell Ebert. I've got a feeling the Magpies have got a little bit more, I don't know why. There's Ebert, an amazing kick around the corner, Evans, he's got it! That other great player of the late 60s and early 70s, North Adelaide champion Barry Rodham, himself a triple McGarry medalist, talks about Russell Ebert, the opponent. Bruce, I think you always had to respect him uh, so much more than any other player because of his brilliance and his fairness. Uh, and I'm sure anybody who's played with him or against him uh, would regard him uh, as a very, very brilliant player. But because he was such a great player, you had to try and do something that little bit better against a player of his calibre. Ebert's authoritative leadership as a centre man and as a captain has been one of the main reasons for Port Adelaide's success in recent years. Only time will tell if Ebert the coach will have as big an influence on the game as Ebert the player has had.